already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person well, we got this King of Swords, and it's with the Three of Wands. So, what this, what this is telling me is that for some of you Geminis, you had made a decision to go forward with this person or this connection. Yeah, because the Three of Wands can be about making a decision. You're, you're finally no longer trying to decide. You made a decision and you're going forward. And you're looking ahead with expansion and growth. You could have felt like your ship had finally arrived. But then I don't know what happened. Something happened or you just realized for, for one reason or another that you felt you wanted to detach yourself from this connection. Because the King of Swords can be a very detached type of energy. Very closed off. Yeah. So that's the recent past energy between you and your person. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got the High Priestess and we have the Page of Cups. So like I said, you realize that it's time to detach yourself from this person or cut this person out. Um, but coming up, with the Page of Cups here, it's indicating that your person could be reaching out to you. Page of Cups can be a very playful, uh, happy type of energy. Whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student. It can indicate youth, immaturity, or someone that's maybe younger than you. So for some of you, your person could be younger by a few days, a few months, a few years. Um, for, and yes, for some of you, maybe even a few decades. Yeah. So there could be a level of immaturity here. And this could be one of the reasons why you feel you need to detach yourself from this connection. But with the High Priestess here, the person is very drawn to you or they could feel a, a, a strong magnetic pull because the high priestess can be about people being drawn to you, male and female, um, all of a sudden finding you far more attractive in terms of both friendship and romance. So this is telling me that the person there, they have a strong magnetic pull towards you or the connection. Yeah. But I'm, I'm still, my eyes keep looking at this King of Swords. You're still wanting to detach. You're still wanting to cut this person out. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got the Fool and it's with the Seven of Swords. Now, this is telling me that for some of you Geminis, um, yeah, Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to rethink the impulse. 
because we all know everyone deserves privacy. This is telling me that um, your person, they feel that you're ready to detach from them. So they feel it because the full card is here. It's about taking a leap of faith towards a new beginning. And that could be how a lot of you Geminis are starting to feel. You just want to go towards maybe a fresh new start in life or towards someone else in your person. They're, they're feeling you detach. They're feeling that you're ready to detach yourself from this connection. So they could be doing a lot of stalking you, trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, for some of you, you're not really communicating that you're ready to go towards something else. So they're, they're doing what they can do to find out, why is my Gemini ready to go off on a new venture? So... That's a challenge. Now, let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Three of Cups and it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Cups can be about some type of great celebration, really happy, come together. It can signify um, maybe running back into someone that you've been away for that you've been away from for a while, the return of a long-lost love, it can be a reunion. Or it could be some type of celebration, your own, or maybe celebrating around a new baby or a wedding. Some type of really happy occasion is Three of Cups. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles, which can be about teamwork, collaboration, skill, quality, um, it can be about benefits. Yeah, so this is telling me that for some of you, this person that you're ready to detach from, or for some of you, you have already detached from them. And for some of you, this person could be trying to come back towards you with the Three of Cups here. Like I said, this person, they're very drawn to you. They could be really attracted to you. They feel this magnetic pull about you towards the connection. They could be coming back or trying to come back if you've already cut them out. Yeah. I'm getting a couple of downloads here. They could be coming back trying to impress you with some skill, teamwork, or collaboration. Or maybe offer you something. Because that's what the Three of Pentacles can be about. Um, or you could be... You could be wanting them to give you a reason to open the door again. You could be wanting them to show you that they can offer some get some benefits or show you some that they are willing to collaborate or teamwork with you um, or impress you with something. Yeah, you're looking for something more than what they've been bringing to the table. So, the Three of Pentacles can be about some benefits. So, I'm just getting that you need more. They didn't bring enough to the table. But they could be trying to make a return. The Three of Cups is a, is a coming back reunion. So, that is everything that I have for you, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading.
I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Gemini, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe these crazy virus season days that we're having. Stay strong and take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this one did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also, don't forget to keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Gemini, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.